every single year they will ask you a question on the normal distribution and this question accounts for 30 to 40 percent of your entire exam and by analyzing all of the past papers I have found that this can be categorized into three types type 1, type 2 and type 3 so they can ask on the normal distribution three ways and that covers every single possible way they can ask it and I've looked through over 30 to 40 past papers to come up with this and I'm very excited to show you it and so we have type 1 which is the type we'll be going through in this video and this is what I would consider simpler normal distribution calculating. These are simple normal distribution calculations. And type 2, which we'll go through in another video, is the type where they go, th they mix the binomial and normal distribution to form questions. You'll commonly, commonly see this, uh, they, the way they do this is they get you to approximate a uh, binomial distribution with a normal distribution. And then the final type is a uh, question on finding the unknown, an unknown mean or standard deviation from the normal distribution. But this will come a lot uh, clearer when we go through this. But the, f the type we're going through today is type 1. And this type can be split into three styles. Mm -hmm. Probability calculations from the normal distribution, finding a constant from the normal distribution, and finding an expected or average value from the normal distribution. And all of those different styles are color coordinated below, so I'm circling when they're the same style of question in this type one. So, you know, this is the red style, which is the probability calculations. You see, always asking you to find probabilities. The blue style, which is the expected. So you'll see words like expected here. You know, find the expected number. And then you then you also have the green style, which is finding a constant. And you'll see that you know they always want you to find a constant. So t, finding the constant t. And I think the best way to show you these different styles is to go through a question. And the question we'll be going through is the question 9 from the worksheet. But you've got all of those categorized for you in those different styles. And we've extract, I've extracted all of those answers as well. So you can really get this type of, uh, of way they ask down. So let's go through an example. So question 9 from the worksheet. Let's have a look here. This will help you see what I mean by these different red, green and uh, blue styles. So we've got the time in minutes that Peter takes to walk to the shop to buy a newspaper is normally distributed. So let's say that X is the time, you know, it takes him on a random day to walk to the shop to buy a newspaper. Well, this is normally distributed with a mean of 9.5 and a standard deviation of 1.3. And it asks you I, which is the first style of this um, type, find the probability that on a randomly chosen day, Peter takes longer than 10.2. Well, this is asking for what is this the probability that on a randomly selected day that he takes longer than 10.2 to walk to the shop well we know that our random variable x is normally distributed with a mean of 9.5 and it wants us to find the probability that this x is greater than 10.2 okay and we know it's on the right side because it's greater than 9.5 and so this area here is the probability that x is greater than 10.2. Well, to find that, what we need to do is we need to find the corresponding z value or z distribution for this situation. So what we do is that we have a look at it. Well, let's call this our z distribution. Well, what is the corresponding value here? Well, this is going to be z equals to, well, 10.2 our x minus our mean which is 9.5 over our standard deviation which is 1.3 and if we put that into our calculator we get 10.2 minus 9.5 divided by 1.3 that equals 0 0.538 0 0.538 so therefore we can say that 
this, the probability that x is greater than 10.2, is the same as saying the probability that z is greater than 0 0.538. And well, how do we calculate this? Well, we can say that this is equal to 1 minus the probability that z is less than 0 0.538. Because this area is the same as the area under all of this graph, which will be 1 minus the probability of all of this stuff. And the reason we do that is because we can find this value from our formula sheet. Because this is saying this in the correct notation. And so if we go to our formula sheet, we can actually find this here. So it was 0 0.538, which is 0 0.538. Eight, which is adding 27 so we have 0 0.7019 add 0 point remember this is 0 0.0027 so we add 0 0.0027 to this to this value here which gives us 0 0.7046 so this is equal to 1 minus 0 0.7046 which equals what? 1 minus 0 0.7046 is 0 0.2954. 0 0.2954. Or let's say 0 0.295. So therefore, the probability that x is greater than 10.2 is equal to the probability that z is greater than 0 0.538, which equals 0 0.295. And so that's that red style there. They always ask you to find a probability. So they'll give you a number like, what is it? It could be, you know, asking you to find probability where, what's this? Or it could be asking you to find a probability when it's between two values. And all of those styles are, all that red style is highlighted throughout the worksheet. So you can really get this style down. Let's move on to II, finding a constant style, the green. And it says on 90% of the days, he will take longer than t minutes. Find the value of t. Well, it's saying that on any given day, it will take on 90% of the days, what does it say? Greater, longer than the probability that on a randomly selected day that he takes longer than t minutes is equal to 0 0.9. And so if we wanted to find t, well, let's have a look. And I always recommend drawing these out. Well, t, if x is greater than t, is 0 0.9. Well, it has to be on this side, because all of this has to be a value of, this is remember the probability that x is greater than t, which is 0 0.9. And this is t, and this is our mean, which is uh, 9.5. So in order to find this t, we need to again find the corresponding z value. So let's have a look at this. Remember? So this will be, what is this value for this t? Well, it's our z, right? Our z is equal to um, t minus 9.5 over 1.3, our standard deviation. And we can say because of the z distribution or the normal distribution, the symmetric, well, you know, this is the same as this. You know, if this is 0 0.9, this is 0 0.9. You know, we can switch it over. So this will be, we can find this value here, we can find this z from our uh, formula sheet. So what z corresponds to an area of 0 0.9? Well, we look here for 0 0.9, and it's 0 0.8997, and we can add 2 to that to give us 0 0.8999, which is basically 0 0.9. This is 1.281. So let's go back here. That means that this value, this z value, is 1.281. So the 1.281 corresponds to a 0 0.9 uh, 
uh, probability. That means that this for a 0 0.9 probability this way is going to be negative 1.281 because it's symmetric. So therefore we can find that our z, we could call it z of t for our corresponding t here is negative 1.281. So therefore we can plug it into here and find our t. So we can now work out for t. Negative 1.281 times 1 1.3 plus 9.5. So it's 7, 7, negative 1.281 times 1.3 plus uh, 9.5. 7.83 so t equals 7.83 so in this style you can see that they give you a probability in this case 90 percent and they want you to find a constant which is this value for that probability and there's plenty of examples in the worksheet of that and the final style of this type which is the simple normal type, simple normal calculation type, is when they ask you to calculate an estimate. So they want you to estimate the number of days in a year, which is 365, on which Peter takes less than 8.8 .8 minutes to walk to the shop and buy a newspaper. So you want the probability that X is less than 8.8. .8. Well, again, we just draw out the situation. So this is your 9.5 and this is your 8.8. .8. So you want this probability here. And you can see that these are all kind of similar. So the probability of this, well again we just find our normalized one. Let's do it over here. So the equivalent to this is, well, the z value will be 8.8 .8 minus 9.5 over 1.3. Should we put that in our calculator? 8.8 .8 minus 9.5 divided by 1.3. That's negative 0 0.538. So we can say the probability that x is less than 8.8 .8 is equal to the probability that Z is less than negative 0 0.538 well we can again say that this because remember this is equivalent to this because it's symmetric oh, 538 so these areas are the same so we can say that this is the same as saying 1 minus the probability that z is less than, so remember we did this before, less than, so let's, let's be really explicit, this is equal to the probability that z is greater than 0 0.835, which equals 1 minus the probability that z is less than 0 0.835, which is something that we already calculated above here. 1 minus the probability that Z is less than 0 0.85, so that's 0 0.295. So the expected value, expected number of days in a year that he takes less than 8.8 .8 minutes to walk to the shop is going to be 0 0.295 because that's the probability on any selected day, on a randomly selected day that he takes less than 8.8, .8, times 365. So that gives us 0 0.295 times 365. So that's 107.6. 0.6. So we can say it's 108 days is the expected. Okay, so that's that third style. And you have on the worksheet all of these different styles. Like examples of all of these different styles taken from so many past papers. So that's type 1 done. And if you w work through these styles in this uh, worksheet, you'll see what I mean by them being very similar. 
each of those styles. So that's type one. We'll do type two next and then type three. And after that, you will have covered every possible way they can ask on the normal distribution. They have never asked anything outside of this these ways, which I'm showing you here. So that's it for me. If you liked it, like the video and subscribe and if you enjoy and find this content valuable please support me on patreon but i'll see you in the next video